Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's get into another one. Let's roll, dude. So you got something for me today, huh? I do, Jonas. This this came up. This this came across my desk. It's, I love your desk. And it's not even it's not even like a news story. I figure, you know, we, we talk about whatever. But I was thinking like past or present. Okay. Dead or alive. Yes. Who is in your dream blunt rotation? Oh, dream blunt rotation? Yeah. If I was going to partake in blunt rotation, who would be Who's in it? Who's in your dream blunt rotation? How many people are we talking? You get you get you and four other people. Four total? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Um, this is a hard one. It's like, who would you want? Yeah, who because would, this is like intellectuals, man. Essentially, like a, when you're having a blunt rotation, it's like you're talking to the person, you're laughing, you're having a good time, you're talking about their life, you're talking about your life, you're just ex- exchanging energy with these individuals. And that's, you know, and that's my favorite. I love exchanging Exactly. Energy. So, um, you know, all right. So, n- number one for me. Yeah, so, yeah t- give I'll me some time. I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. Give you, I'll give you like at least one or two of mine. I would have to say is that number one for me, I need... Uh, Putin. <laughs> no, I need DMX. All right. Uh, okay. I need DMX. He's in, he's in my blunt rotation. One hundred percent. Okay. I'm bringing him back. He's sitting right next to me. Okay. It, uh, why? I mean, why? I, I my favorite rapper of all time. One of my favorite, just like albums. I, I know them all back to back. I love them. I want to. I want to ask him about his his pain, his trouble. I want to know okay. what advice he has for me. I want to see if he knows somebody that can get me into the rap game. Okay. You know. Yeah. I just feel like uh, talking to him. I feel like he's got a lot to say, and I want to hear what he has to say. Man, I don't even know who I would want to talk to. You no. Know? Yeah. I. I mean, for real though. For real. <laughs> like that's a wow. Number two, I definitely, I definitely want Barack. Barack Obama. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. I'm, it, as cliche as it may sound, Jonas. I need him there too. I want to know what it was like being president. I want the real stories. I want him to. I want him to use the N word in front of me. <laughs> I do. I well, want him to do it. You want to hear him drop the N word? Yeah, he better. Because when I see him, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, what's up, Barack? My N word." I'm, I'm, def- <laughs> I'm definitely saying. It. Give him a big old bro hug. Hell like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dap him up. We're gonna do some handshake that would scare any anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> We neither one of us has ever met, but I guarantee you, we can come up with a handshake on the spot. That looks like you've done it for twenty years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see here, man. Who, man? I feel like. It, well, here's the thing. Do you want someone who's like? Do you want someone who's like you know is intellectual, like a Stephen Hawking, like? But it's hard to communicate with him, right? Because it'd be, it'd be hard to communicate. Yeah. Plus, he's like so smart. I think it'd be hard to communicate. Yeah, yeah. Or like Neil deGrasse, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Right, uh, yeah. Neil. That's right, right. That's yeah. it. Or did I mess his name up? That's his name. Yeah, yeah. Like he has so much knowledge about stuff. Like it yeah. would be cool to listen to him. But like, is he going to be talking over my head? Exactly. And honestly, I kind of feel like I don't know. When you're talking about intellectuals of that level, they're teachers, and before they're anything else. And but, yeah, before they're be just like your learn. homie to like chill with. Yeah, it'd be good to learn from them. But I. I just kind of want to, you know, smoke. <laughs> you know, let's just smoke and hang out and talk. I know Barack can get down at a party. We know DMX can get down at a party. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, are you? Are we playing like spades or something? Like, uh, whatever you want to uh, do. Anything yeah. you want, man. Gandhi. <laughs> I'm picking Gandhi for my number three. Really? Yeah, a hundred percent. Lord, I need to know. And my my third one this is, is so, something you should have given me a heads up on. It's I, fine. It's yeah. Fine. I mean, we, I'm, we, I'm, we, how about this? My, for my last one, Marcus Aurelius. Maybe Socrates. Kind I'm of, trying kind to of, say that they wouldn't be over your head with like stuff. They're like straight up philosophers. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Aurelius, I mean, a little, little different. But I feel Socrates. like I feel like they know how to hang. I feel like they know how to have a good time. Those Roman cats, man, they were doing all. They're kinds just of having wild orgies. Stuff. Yeah, ba- bathing with other dudes and having orgies. That was it. You don't <laughs> no. like hot tubs. You wouldn't like hanging out with Aurelius. Yeah. So you'd be like, "Let's go get in the hot water, bro." Yeah. And you're like, and they were in the young boys too. That's kind of weird, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, Jonas, fine. You can't think of well, flooding. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm trying to think, dude. I feel like maybe this one would be easier for you though. Who would be in your nightmare blunt rotation? Oh my God, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is easy. This is no, easy. I don't know. But part of me was like, but sitting there and listening to him talk, like 
Yeah, out, out of it, out of the public context, off the record, could be fascinating. That you know it, honestly. Like it's like I wouldn't want to hang out. I might have to kick him. out Gandhi. Right, like <laughs> I wouldn't want to hang out with him. But like listening to him talk unfiltered with off the record completely is probably one of the most wild experiences you could ever have. Yeah, like getting yeah. drunk with that man, yeah. or like smoking blunts or whatever. Like yeah. it's probably you probably walk out of that night going, "What the just happened to me." <laughs> Like, I could just imagine, like, or like uh, yeah. Marilyn Manson. Like, just uh, listening to, like, him, like, talk, like that's the nightmare one, right? That, like, yeah, but is that, like, a good conversation? I don't right, know what, that, but it was still, I'd walk away being like, what the F just happened tonight? Yeah, like, th yeah. like, that's the kind of, like, the people that I know would, like, be, like, leave me affected probably uh, in a negative way by the end of the night. Court, yes. Courtney Love. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Lord, just, just throw Kodak Black in there. Alex oh, Jones. Oh, like this. Throw those people in there. Like, uh, oh my God, dude. Like Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah. Not <laughs> even. Not, not, yeah, like just not even like to be <laughs> nightmare. Nightmare blunt rotation is is Trump, uh, Biden. Wow, both of them at the same time. C Courtney Love and Hitler. Uh, Hitler. <laughs> That's, My that's lord, the nightmare, like, that's like the talking nightmare to Hitler, blood rotation. like with him, like being able to like speak English, so you understand yeah, what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, we're bringing him back from the dead. I think enough, we can bring him back. Would, I think that would be fascinating language. just to listen to like what his because it would be the same thing like listening to Trump. Mm -hmm. Like, you're fascinating. Like, this is how your brain works. Like, oh. this is what you think is right. Yeah. Like, oh my lord! Like, yeah. what the hell is happening? I don't know, Jonas. Man, apparently, you know. Maybe they'll maybe Kanye. they'll turn you. Kanye seems to think yeah, that Hitler I mean, has some speaking points. Yeah, yes, yeah, speaking points, dude. It who who would I want to talk to though? Like legitimately, like, I don't know, man. I, I don't know, dude. I didn't I don't really even think to about anybody. mine too hard before we started talking. I just kind of was like, yeah, I, I know, I know some guys I like. There's some I have, guys I like. I've always had the problem when people are like, "Who's your hero?" <laughs> and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't look up to anybody like that. Like M me either. So but, like, but when I was thinking about my blunt rotation, Jonas, I was thinking about people who are already have money because if you're in a room with three broke people, yeah. there's a chance you could be the fourth. If you're in a room with three rich you, people, there's a chance you, know, you could be you know the fourth. Who I would want Conan O'Brien. Okay, I think that would be interesting. He's done a lot. He, he's a All funny right. dude. I think he would like. That, I think he would add to the. And he's awkward too. Mm -hmm. So like, I think that would add to the to the ambiance. All right, I, that's a respectable first choice. I wouldn't know if that's like it, numerically if that's the first person I would want there, but that's mm -hmm. somebody who popped in my head. Um, you know, Sam Kinison. Oh God, no, it's too much. Because <laughs> I even not, thought about like Chris Farley. I'm like, I don't need people in there doing speed balls. Chris, and, like Chris Farley, <laughs> Sam Kinison, and Gilbert Gottfried. Oh nightmare, my God. nightmare blood rotation, dude. <laughs> Lord, uh, <laughs> God damn, that would be, that would be crazy. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, and, and right, throw in, uh, what's the dude from One Hour Photo? Carrot Top? No. The Robin be, Williams? Robin Williams. Oh my God, dude, that yeah. would be like, yeah. Hulk Hogan, blunt, <laughs> nightmare blunt rotation, calling your brother every two minutes, talking about random ass <laughs> things. That would be so terrible. Yeah, Rose, uh, Rosie Perez. Ro oh God, <laughs> Woody Harrelson. Oh my God, well, that, he'd be all right. Yeah, like he might be a good one. I could see like Seth, Seth Green, Woody Harrelson, and who's the guy from Pineapple Express? Oh, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. Yeah, that would be a cool blunt rotation. Yeah, like those. Like I think some of those guys. Or Judd Apatow, the guy who wrote all okay. those movies. Like yeah, yeah. he he doesn't get all the fame because he's not in the movies, but he's the one that wrote all of them. So like. He wrote yeah. all those knocked up super bad, like all those movies. So, yeah, I um, can see that. Like some of those guys, I think like I would like to go with more creative types, like comedians, like Dennis Leary. Okay. Like uh, okay. even Adam Sandler. I think Adam Sandler, like he, if I think that the real Adam Sandler, not the show on camera Adam Sandler, uh, is probably very chill and cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Obviously. But like, He's not so, he doesn't have like that young energy that he used to have. He's he just did like uncut gems that was just like a more serious role. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you start watching that at all? What uncut gems? Yeah, yeah. No, I started watching it one day. That movie is designed to make you anxious. Like it made me anxious. It reminded me of like one hour, not one hour photo. Um, the other movie, Punch Drunk Love. Never there was seen just that so either. much happening. It for like it ex it like it brought anxiety out in me. Like, and mm. I've heard I've read that that's kind of what it does. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. 
Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. Who's in your blunt rotation? Yeah, put it in the comments. TNT. Yep.